Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see here, we got 1944 Battle of the Bolts sitting on the table, ready to go, and we're set up. We got our cards out, our other units out on their unit cards, make it a little easier to find out when the units get hit, to flip them over and to reduce them. We got our tray out here. We got our instructions. This is the first time playing this game, so if you make any mistakes, stand by, let me know down in the comments. And we're going to do a walkthrough on the scenario of Hitler's Autumn Mist. This is a shortened version of the historical operation in seven turns. The operation requires a laser strike by the Germans' armor spearhead to do, disrupt the Allies' supply line while crossing key rivers. Sudden death victory conditions. The German players must exit and supply armor division off the board at supply hex N1, N2, W1, W... Two by the end of Axis turn seven to win. Ally player wins by preventing the German player from achieving his victory conditions. So pretty basic, pretty simple. Let's get into it right away here. Get closer to the table and let's go over each side's battle plan. Okay, so here we are. This is the plan. I think what I'm gonna try to do since I have in the first three to four turns I have more resource points than the allies. I think what I'm gonna to try to do is, if you can actually visualize this, I'm gonna to try to turn, get a breakthrough here and push through here and kind of get all the allies to turn this way since we're trying to run towards N2, N1, or Whiskey 1, or Whiskey 2 down the map because as I said before, we're doing the Autumn Mist in seven turns and I have to get to those points and off the board with an armored unit in supply uh, to actually win this game. And I think uh, with my resource points and my reinforcements coming in, I think my best objective and idea or plan, should I say, is like I said, is if, as you can see the allies here is kind of to turn them this way to kind of build a wall to keep my units in supply so I can move I have a couple armor units up here, like the 1st SS and the 12th, um, to get them turned and, and driven down uh, to get my armor unit in supply and up and off the board. So uh, let's go to uh, the actual turn one and let's see how it goes. Let's get this started. Okay, as you can see here, turn one, and the plan's kind of working for the Germans here. Uh, just like the real Battle of the Bold, I got this is the probably the luckiest rolling I've ever done. Uh, I've eliminated a bunch of units on the Allied Star. I eliminated the 14th, uh, the 112th of the 28th. I eliminated the 110th of the 28th, the 109th of the 28th, and I reduced a couple other units here and there. I see they were missing. I kind of got this. I've Bypass some of the units here to kind of keep myself in supply with my armor division here, the 12th SS. Uh, so things are moving well. Uh, see, I got the control markers here. I put those on just to kind of tr track out the supply. But I got supply um, even with these units being here by the looks of it. Uh, so that unit's still in supply. A um, couple of my units have took a little bit of a bashing. Uh, as we exchange there back and forth but so far everything is going the way I planned uh, for the German um, attack here uh, got a couple stubborn units here these guys were hanging tough where just nothing happened uh, I, I tried like crazy to push them out uh, but I couldn't so now they're engulfed uh, see if that helps me on the next turn I gotta keep in mind I'm gonna have allied uh, Reinforcements on turn two. I haven't done the Allies turn one. Uh, by the looks of it, though, I don't really have much I'm going to be able to do. Um, maybe fall back on a couple of these units, get them out of there, wait for some reinforcements, that I think would be the best idea because they're almost engulfed here. Uh, these guys are totally engulfed. Uh, the 106th. And, uh, and I got the CCR... Uh, the ninth there, uh, the seventh core, I believe it's the seventh core. Yep, seventh core is just uh, all by himself with these two other units all uh, 
Seventh core is pretty much split up and divided into four sections where on uh, the first the first army over here is uh, totally engulfed. So not looking good for the Allies at all. Looking great for the Germans. Uh, let's go into the Allies' uh, first turn and let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, we're here on turn one on the Allied side. And uh, as you can see, not a much... Uh, really happen. Um, I had six resource points so there wasn't a lot that I could do and I thought it was best with all the conditions and the situation that we're in just like the real battle. Um, came as total surprise, too much, too fast. Took a good smacking so I thought just like the real historical battle I thought what I would do is use my resource points and actually draw my units back not take the risk of taking any more damage to my units as it was. Um, so I fell back with my units and my idea is as such as here in the historical uh, event as we all know. Um, I'm, I fell back to Bastogne. I think I'm going to try to uh, get my units back there as best as possible. Uh, just like in history, uh, I'm going to bring the um, 106 back. I'm going to bring uh, part of the 7th Corps back, what I got left. Uh, try to hold out, kind of draw a line here at Bastogne, Manhay, and Vaviers. And uh, kind of get this line going. And uh, kind of wait for... Um, I'm really hoping to hold out to turn three is when a large amount of reinforcements come in, but they're really far back. But that's my idea, my plan for the Allies. Uh, kind of hold out on this line here and try to slow down, regroup, get some reinforcements up, hold out and see if we can slow down the Germans here. Um, the Germans got some reinforcements coming in, uh, but to be honest, not real strong units. Um, you know, just like in the, uh, like as I said several times now in the historical event, um, you know, the Germans had stuff, but they were pretty battered at this point in the war. Uh, so, um, just like the real thing, which the game is totally living up to, I I'm feeling like I'm in the Battle of the Bulge right now. And uh, to be honest, just after turn one, uh, totally, totally excited about this game. I I'm loving this game so far. Uh, but let's get into more turns. Let's go into turn two. It's Germans. All right, guys, we're on the German turn two. Uh, pretty much the gist of this turn, as you can see here, I pretty much, uh, there wasn't a lot that was going on, a lot of movement. Uh, burned up a lot of my resource points uh, due to the elimination of all the other units in turn one, making up the ground, allies falling back. Uh, so I had to move a lot of units to get things moving forward to get to our objective. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm shooting for N2 uh, to get an armor unit off the board, out of supply. Um, let's see, I refit a unit. I don't even remember which one, but sorry about that. I refitted a unit, pretty much moved, and eliminated a unit right here, which was the part of the first army, the 99th. Uh, just wiped them out there. We're totally surrounded by the Germans there, and that burned up the, rest, the last two of my resource points. Um, other than that, that's where we're at on the Germans. Uh, turn two, still looking really good. Let's go to the Allied uh, turn two. Okay, once again, turn two. The Allies had some uh, supplies coming. They had the... Uh, what do they have? They had the 7th and the 10th uh, units come in. One from S and one from N4, which we had to move down one because the German unit sitting right on the hex. Uh, once they came in, my reinforcements came. I backed up, refortified Bastogne a little bit, landed on uh, Trios points. Uh, Try to hold off some of these supply routes to Liege. 
and uh, like I said, re-fortified bath stone. So far, this falling back movement seems to be, uh, to reorganize my unit seems to be working. Uh, the Germans on their turn had to spend most of their um, resource points to move, to get back up. So this is kind of getting us, uh, buying us some time to get our units back in order to maybe, uh, I'm thinking round three or round four, or turn three or four getting more uh, reinforcements in and at some point maybe uh, my plan is to give the Germans a little smack around here. Um, here shortly their resource points are gonna start dropping off. Uh, if I can hold them from getting to that N2 spot on the map, I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, I think this might turn around here or possibly it might just be uh, too late uh, but in this turn, turn two, things are starting to look a little bit better for the Allies. Uh, there's still a little glimmer of hope. Anyway, let's go on to the Germans, turn three. All right, guys. Here's the Germans, turn three. Um, once again, not looking good at all for the Allies. Uh, really lucky roll Dyson again. Uh, just seems to be on the German side today. Um, the 2nd and the 7th of the Allied Army uh, unit was wiped out. Wiped out two of them there. Uh, not too much movement. Um, of course, quite a few units moved, but like I said, it got 20 resource points, so it was pretty easy for the Germans. Tac 2 units. I'm calling it quits there. Um, I moved what I could. Uh, N2... Uh, is looking good. It looks like uh, pretty much, <clears throat> not to give a spoiler alert or anything, but at this point, uh, the Germans came in way too hard. Uh, allies really from the beginning didn't have a chance. Really lucky with, I, I've never rolled this good with dice in my life. It's unbelievable uh, for playing the first game. Uh, but it looks like in turn uh, four, which we're actually about to hit here, uh, it's pretty much over for the Allies. Um, unless a miracle happens, we'll play it through. Uh, like Again, sorry for the spoiler. I just don't see at this point there's too much that the Allies can uh, actually do. Um, it, it was just too much. Like I said, a lot of it was just uh, a lot of lucky dice rolling. Uh, but we're going to continue through, and uh, that was the Germans' uh, turn three. Let's go uh, see what the Allies can do in uh, turn turn three. All right, here we are on top of uh, Allied turn three. Um, I thought it was going to be over the next round. Of course, I shouldn't open my mouth. My bad. That's usually how it goes. But I uh, actually did a little smack in here on the fifth uh, paratroopers of the Germans. Ran my units out. Um, trying to cut off uh, anything I can from getting here. Um, to end two before the Germans run off the board here. Uh, we're going to turn four. And uh, smacked a couple German units around here a little bit. Uh, not really good. Great roll dying for the Allies once again for the amount of dice I had for each uh, attack I performed. Moved a bunch of units. Uh, got the 101st that came in from uh, S1. And W2 is the 82nd trying to make their way up into the fight to help. Um, I also had the 30th and one other, I think the 9th here came in. Uh, yep, the 30th and the 9th <coughs> on, uh, N3. Um, so that, that worked out pretty good. Um, got something in the, in the face of the, uh, the German uh, Nazi push here, um, right in front of the 12th SS and the uh, 150th SS, uh, 
with all the rest of the uh, armor behind it and the paratroopers there. Um, if I can get him in on the next turn, uh, things didn't work out too good there. Ran out of points and uh, fighting, so uh, I'm just trying to stay in their face right now. So uh, it looks like uh, we can hit another turn here, and uh, depending on uh, if the streak of the German side here keeps going uh, with the rolling on attacks and stuff, uh, it might possibly be over. Um, a little heads up going in for the Germans turn. Uh, on this turn, um, they lose their uh, artillery. And uh, another overcast day. So let's see what happens, guys. All right, guys. Looks like that's it. Looks like I got the 12th SS in supply off of N2 which is a scenario and under then seven turns um, right from the beginning the Allies really didn't have a shot the way I was rolling the dice and things were going on the German side today I wish I could go to Vegas with those dice um, I was just on fire um, like I said it really knocked the Allies back on their heels took out a bunch of units and they, they really didn't stand a chance so uh, I'm gonna end it there in the top of the fourth turn uh, as you can see here, I finished up, I had uh, the 30th here, I believe, knocked them out, which gave me in turn, the 12th SS was here, moved on out and up and off the board. Uh, in supply, I got a supply route here and a supply route there, reinforced with my units there. So, uh, that's about it. Um, absolutely love the game. I can't believe I beat it in four. It's got to be a record of some sort. Like I said, a lot to do with the way everything, I'm telling you. I wish I was in Vegas the way I was just rolling those die. Uh, everything was just going. I mean, I, I couldn't go wrong there for a while. Uh, I'm definitely going to replay this scenario again in the future. I want to see uh, just how different it is when the dice are all on your side like it was. Even though the dice were all on my side for the Germans. It, I still had a great time, gave me that feel of the battle, moving around and thinking and trying to counter with the Allies. Totally enjoyed this game. Loving it so far. Can't wait to play the other uh, scenarios and longer. Got the gist of this game. Definitely plays, uh, like they said, one to two hours. I think I did about an hour and a half. I got like 20 minutes of video or so. So all the editing and cutting out, it, it was probably about an hour and a half. Um, but great game. Totally loving it. Uh, can't wait to play the next scenarios. Thanks for coming in here. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Tell me about how the. Uh, let me know what you thought about the way the format, which uh, the way I did it in the game. Greatly appreciate when we change it up or something else or an idea that might make it better. Uh, let me know. Hit the like button. Uh, subscribe and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.